Hey everyone, Gator Mom here. I have a review for you today on a new release by Jujubee. This is just coming out today, so you guys can hop online and I'll put the link below or to your local um, retailers that sell Jujubee and pick up some of this new print. This is called Queen Bee and it is a new print in their legacy collection. I really like it. I love how it coordinates so well with other prints and I was pleasantly surprised when Jujubee sent me the Hobo Bee for this new release day to review for you guys and talk about and do kind of a little um, review for y'all. So I want to just take today and show you the Hobo Bee. I want to show you kind of all of the angles so you could see some of the print placement of some of the words and the sayings that are throughout this bag. And then I want to go ahead and show you some print comparisons. For those of you that are looking to get this bag that may have some other Jujubee already in your stash and want to see how it might coordinate, I want to go ahead and show you those today. So this is the front of the Hobo Bee and on here right away what is sticking out to me is this Be Smart wording down here. Then you have Be Extraordinary. Up here is a Be Yourself, Be Extra, Be Helpful. There's just so many cool messages throughout this bag and I think that it's one of the really fun prints that you can kind of pick your print placement on. Maybe there's certain words that you want to have on your particular bag, whether it be the Hobo Bee or maybe a larger print bag like the Bee Prepared or the Super Bees. I think that this particular print will look amazing in large bags just because you can really see all the different words and how they can um, go together. And I just think it would look really, really well. With that being said, I did see a picture come out of the B sets that are in this print and they are adorable. I absolutely love them. So huge fan of this print already. I'll show you the back of the Hobo B here as well. I just have my change pad laying back there that I thought I might use for print comparisons or I may just stick with the Hobo B here since it's nice and big here on the camera. On the back of this Hobo B, I see again the Be Helpful over here, Be Classy, which I'm loving, and then really big across the bottom, the Be Adventurous, Be Daring down here, Be Original. I really like this bag. I think that the um, the placement of everything is just super cute. I think I will carry it actually as a purse for myself a lot of times. I love the Hobo Bees. I think that they're perfect for quick trips out. So I see myself using this um, quite a bit. And then I wanna show you the side pockets here so you can see the placement on there. It's just really, really cute overall. When I saw the stock photos of this particular print, I was actually thinking that the words were gonna be more of a cream color, but they are definitely white, which I like because it coordinates really well with a lot of the other prints. So I want to also show you an updated feature that I noticed with this Hobo Bee that I was stoked about. I could not wait to show you guys this. I love the mommy pockets and and this cell phone um, felt line pockets that come in a lot of the Jujube bags, the Hobo Bees, the BFF has one, the uh, Be Right Back has one. So, but I always have an issue with my cell phone placing it inside that felt line pocket. I have an iPhone 6 Plus, so it's one of the bigger ones on the market, and I'm always having to put my phone kind of in the side bottle pocket or in the front of the mommy pocket. I was going through this bag and opened up the felt line pocket and noticed it's huge, you guys. It is so big. It fits my phone perfectly. And I don't know if you can really tell by just looking at this bag, those of you that have the Hobo Bee, um, how big the pocket actually is. So I have my Empress Hobo Bee here, and I want to go ahead and compare those two for you really quickly so that you can see how big that actual pocket is um, that I'm explaining. So this is my iPhone 6 Plus, and it fits perfectly horizontally right down inside of that pocket. Tons of room down there to put additional things. There's more rooms on the side as well as the top. It will not fit vertically in there, but it does go, like I said, horizontally without any type of issue, which I am just loving, loving, loving. Then, um, like I said, I want to just show you the Empress here so you can see the old pockets. Um, and see what I mean as far as the side. So this is opened up that particular same pocket. Again, it won't go vertically, but this one will not even go horizontally. If you can see there, it's a couple, it's a little bit um, 
it's not quite as wide as my phone. So when I try to put it in diagonally, it also doesn't fit in there. So like I said, I was really, really surprised when I saw that little feature update that Jujube did. Um, they must have been listening to some of our requests and I love it. So besides that little feature there, there's nothing else that is different on the Hobo Bee. It is your basic Hobo Bee with your two side pockets. You have a mommy pocket here in the front with this awesome key leash. And then you have this big zipper back here in the back and your two mesh pockets in there as far as the inside. Great mommy pocket on the Hobo Bee. The back of the Hobo Bee, you have the spot for your change pad with a clasp here to hold it together. And then on the inside of the Hobo Bee, just to give you guys a quick glance, those of you that might not have seen this particular bag yet, you have a big zipper back here in the back as well well as two mesh pockets on this far side. You have another mesh pocket in the front here and a small zipper pocket here. So tons of internal organization. This bag makes a great diaper bag or a great purse kind of on the go. Um, like I said, Hobo Bees are one of my favorite bags for sure. I have detached the strap over here just for the sakes of this video, but it does come with this long messenger strap that you can adjust to wear over your shoulder or you can wear crossbody or if you want to pair it with a long or a short seatbelt strap. That's always a super fun option. I have a black one here, but you can pair this particular color, which you'll see in just a second, with just about any print and any pop of color that you want to add to it. So up here, I have a bunch of different quicks and large set pieces that I have from my collection that I want to show you an up close of some of my favorites and how they match. I want to go ahead and start with the couple from the Legacy line that I have, which of course are going to look fabulous with this print since they're all from that same Legacy collection. I think Dutch's is really fun print and I think it looks great with this one. I also have here a large set piece in the Empress, which you just saw kind of an up close of the two together, but I thought that I would show you up close how those two look together. And then I want to move on to the Tokidoki prints. Uh, one that I think looks really, really cute is, of course, King's Court, which is just a nice addition to almost any of the Legacy prints, just because of the black and white and the gold hardware. It just matches really, really well. I want to kind of move up so you can see a little closer there. Then I have over here Bubble Trouble, which is one of my newly favorite Tokidoki prints. Again, looks super cute with this one. Then I have some... Siamo, which is another fun one because of the black accents that are throughout this particular print. I like that one a lot. I have some Perky Toki over here. If you don't mind the um, silver hardware versus the gold, this is a great, great match. I have some super cute Animalini print. How adorable is that? I love the print placement on this particular quick with Donatello over there hanging out. And then I have the Unikiki, which is super popular. I think this one looks really cute with this print. Again, maybe just the black outlining accents on it, but I just think it makes the white pop in this particular bag against all the white accents in this one. It's just a really good pairing. There isn't much that doesn't look good with this bag. I think some of the blue patterns might not look as well, so I'll show you those next. I have some sapphire lace here. Not a horrible match, but maybe not one of the better. And then I have some Royal MV. Not my favorite there either. And then I have some pixie dust. I think that that's a really nice pairing for going into winter. One match that I think looks awesome that I would have never guessed is Frosted Blossoms. Look how awesome that one looks together. I wish that they had Frosted Blossoms in um, the set pieces. I think that it would be really cute. One of my favorite prints. Then some Dancing Dahlias. This is a large set piece. Looks really, really good. Some Perky per Perennials. That's really fun for a pop of color. I really like that those are uh, that particular print comparison too. Some Lush Paisley. For all of you lush people out there, one of my all-time favorite jujubes. And then I have some Hello Kitty in here. 
I have the Lucky Stars, which is so cute. I did not think that that would be really cute, but it is. I really like Lucky Stars. And then TikTok. Really cute print comparisons. So overall, my thoughts as far as prints that will go with this particular new print of Queen Bee, I think my favorite ones are going to be almost anything besides the blues. I think the nautical might clash just a tad, as well as the sapphire lace and the royal envy. Everything else, I think, is just a really good match with it, mainly, like I said before, because of all the black kind of outlining on all the cute prints, and the bright colors are a really nice contrast here. So I think that B did a great job with this new print. I am loving it, and I think it will be a great addition to anybody's collection. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I hope that you guys love this new print as much as I do, and leave a comment below and let me know what you are getting in Queen Bee, because I have a feeling I might be getting a couple pieces myself. So I will talk to y'all later, and thanks for watching.